Hey friends, this is Malik and today I am gonna discuss about how to use GitLab or GitHub repository for transform modules and create a release version. Let's start. At first, in this lesson, I'm using GitLab as a resource. I have GitLab as a local server and I am connected to it through my browser. So in first step, we have to create a repository. So new project, create a blank project, give it a name, for example, transform modules. At the moment, as a visibility level, I select public and create project. As you see here, repository created with this ID. Let's clone it via HTTP. Let's go to terminal. In terminal, I create a folder called, for example, traform underline module and switch inside it. LS, we don't have anything here. Just type git clone and paste the address from the memory and we have to change this address to our local host port 8082 yes it's done ls you see clone module let's switch inside it just there is readme file inside it let's copy or existing module here i have created a module before on my computer and i'm going to copy it here i copied my module here let's check it ls cd network ls you see all files related to the network let's want to step back and type git status you see we have to push it in the repository at first let's git add and git commit minus am msh at network to repo in next step we have to push it git username devops password let's back to repository refresh here you see network module added here. Let's back to terminal. One step remaining. As you see, we pushed our module to repository. This is which version? Because if in next time we did a change and add new resources to our module and we need to release it as a new version, so we need to tag it. So with tag, we can versioning or repository. It's very simple. Just type git tag dash a tag name, for example, version 001. Add message first network module version. This command will add a tag to our module. So enter and now we have to push the tag to repository just type git push dash dash tags we have to add dash dash tags at the end of push command because if we don't do it never push the tags to repository but it will send the tag to repository as you see here new tag push to repository Let's go to GitLab repository. Click on TF modules. You see one tag added here. First network module version. In next step, we will see how to use this module in our environment. You see here, I am using Trigram for my project. And at the moment, module is saved on my computer. But I wanted to comment this one and use the GitLab repository. How to use that? Let's go into Traform documentation. In Google, just search Traform module source. 
and in the result from the first one click module sources there is different sources here you see local that at the moment we are using but we are going to use gitlab or github just click on github you see how to use that but let's going down how to select a revision so we wanted to select a specific version just we are using like that just let's copy this one back to vs code source so let's change the address to our gitlab server and let's change this one to our repository in devops account tfmodule.git and reference equal to version 0, 0, 001 here we are missing one thing at first add a quotation here and then after git here point to our repository in repository have to go where to network modules so here we have add the name of module that we're gonna use let's back to documentation for trigrant in google search trigrant blocks and from the first one check traform and here there is a point when we wanted to use the module we have to use double slash if you want to know more about trigrant you can check my other videos i will pin the link of them above of this video let's back to vs code and here just change it to double slash let's run our trigrant code by trigrant init at first and then trigrant plan okay so here trigrant uses network module that is located on gitlab we can check it here also we see the network module downloaded from the gitlab in the cache of our system that's done we arrive to the end of this video i hope you like it and if you like it, please comment your feedback in the comment section below. Thank you so much. See you soon.